Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison with all three of these Mr. Coffee tea makers. So the first thing, the center one and this white one here are pretty much the same. I'll go over there's a minor difference with this little lever here. But the biggest difference is this is a 2 quart, this is a 2.5 quart. This is the uh, Mr. Coffee Tea Cafe. And this is the Mr. Coffee Iced Tea and Iced Coffee Maker. This one has a glass pitcher. This one has a plastic pitcher. Now, both of these pitchers are really tall, so make sure they fit in your refrigerator. This pitcher ends up being just a little bit shorter than this one. So this is their more expensive one. It costs $30. This is their cheaper one. It costs $20. And this one's a little hard to find. I think this is their older one called the iced teapot. So all of these make iced tea. They brew the tea hot over ice. So this one here has a brew strength selector. I can, I can select the strength of the tea. Now let's open it up. This one kind of reminds you of a coffee maker a little bit. It's got like a, a nozzle where the hot water comes out. It's got this little basket where the tea leaves go in or tea bags. I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's your little brew basket. But this one was a little confusing at first because at first um, I was used to this tea maker where you put the pitcher like really close to it and the water comes out right there, or the hot water. I thought the hot water come out came out right here and I was had it like here and it made a big mess. So with this one, you got to you got to rotate this. It's just it was just very odd to me to do that. But that's how it brews. And it comes straight out of here, right into the tea. And then that exposes where you pour the water. This one's got a, um, a window where you can see how much water you've got installed. These, you pour the water right here, but you can't see how much water is in it. Same with this one. Same with this one. You pour the water in, but you can't see how much is in. So again, this has got like a brew basket. This has a brew basket, but it's on top of the pitcher. So we take this off. Here's where you're going to put your tea, your tea bags. And I use, now I have detailed reviews on both of these on how to make iced tea. But I'm going to be using these family size tea bags. You can use normal size tea bags, but it takes more. And I just leave the tea in the bag. But you put them right here. Now you, it says you're supposed to use a Mr. Coffee basket style coffee filter. I found that I don't necessarily need the coffee filter. These tea bags seem to do just fine when you place them in there. But there's no brew string selector on this one. This is the cheaper one. And then when you're done, you've got to take this off and then put a lid on it. And then, it's, then it acts like a normal pitcher. And you can see that it's just a little bit taller. This one, the more expensive one, just a little bit taller. So this one has a little more work. It has a little more work in that you have to do this and you have to put it right up next to the coffee maker and make sure you've got this other lid on because this other lid actually directs the hot water to the middle. So once you get used to it, it works fine. But I really did like this one a lot. So I'm, we're gonna brew tea right next to each other. I'm not gonna use this one. This is an older one. It's exa exactly the same as this, except the brew basket has this, this lever, which is actually kind of nice. Because when you, when you poke it down, it stops up the plunger so that you can take this over to the trash can and dump your tea bags out. But you got to remember to pop it up so that the water will go out into the ice. So, a little tricky there, but I miss that on this one. This one drips on you when you go to dump that out. So again, I won't be I won't be brewing tea with this one, but I wanted to show you. Okay, so since this is a two quart, I'm only going to put two of the family size tea bags in here. Since this is two and a half quart, I'm going to put three. And you can move this out of the way. You know, there is one thing, so this one doesn't. You know, it's not a very big area where that one is definitely a big area. And you got to move the nozzle, put the strings. So they lean you know, over the side and then close it. So 
So both of them operate the same way. They have a water line and an ice line. So you first fill it up to the water line, okay? And then we gotta make sure that that's open. Okay, so we're gonna pour. This has a nice big opening. This one's in the way, but it has a nice big opening where you pour your water. And again, you can see over here, it's not so big, but again, you get used to it. Door. Okay, so after you dump the water in, you gotta fill both of these up to their ice line. Now they both take a lot of ice. This one will take a little bit more. And here we gotta do, we gotta put this on. Make sure you line up the brew head. It's got a little notch there you gotta line up. So again, make sure that you get this all lined up just right. This one's a little simpler, you're just gonna push it. Again, make sure this is out. And then this, there's a place for the nozzle, so that this should be pretty flush like that. Now the controls are very simple. You just press and press. This has a little LED that lights up, and that's got a big blue light. So we'll sit here and watch them side by side brew their iced tea. So they both start brewing right away. You know, this one over here, we can kind of see what's going on. You really can't see a whole lot what's going on here because of this lids on here. So they look like they're both doing about the same speed right now. They both sound about the same. They're not super loud when they do this. So they've been brewing for about five minutes. You know, it looks like maybe the more expensive one might be a little more ahead. Yeah, so now they look like they're just about the same. Sounds like the one here on the left is finishing up. They both shut off automatically. We're getting quite a bit of steam come over here. Okay, so the more expensive one on the left, it on this one actually finished first. This one is still brewing a little bit. It's almost done, so. Okay, so this one's finishing up. It's about a minute behind. It's definitely quieter. Both of them, both of them kicked off when they were done. This one was a little noisier towards the end of its brew. Okay, so with this one, you gotta do a little more work. Again, you gotta take this off. Let's see how it did. It looks like it did a good job with the tea bags over here. You know, I could lift this whole basket out if I wanted to. But again, over here, I've gotta do, I've gotta lift this up and it does kind of drip on you. And I gotta put my lid on. Let's stir it up. Both of these make a really cold tea. So yeah, you're down to about 36, 34 degrees. This one's nice because it keeps the lid on. So you're not taking a lid on and off, but we'll stir it up. And again, yeah, we're down. Yeah, same temperature, maybe a little colder. Okay, so let's see how each pitcher pours. Yeah, this one pours really nice. 
and we'll see how this one pours. It's a little heavier. And being glass, it always kind of freaked me out a little bit. I always felt like I was going to break it. But it seems relatively sturdy. But again, when it's plastic, you don't have to worry about it too much. This thing's glass. So it is a it's quite a bit heavier, actually. So I have done a taste test. To me, I, I'm not an expert tea taster by no means, but maybe this one did taste a little bit better. But um, I did also have this one a little stronger because it brewed more water. So as far as cleanup, you know, you're going to have a few more things to clean up here. Over here, you do have this brew basket you can take out. And you've got this you can take out and clean. So it also drips. A little bit I'm gonna put a link to these in my description now Amazon for some reason the prices really fluctuate on these two on Amazon now this is a Walmart you can get this at Walmart for 20 bucks they usually got it in stock it's over by the coffee makers this one's a little trickier to find now sometimes it's 30 I just looked right now it's $55 on Amazon I don't know why the price fluctuates like it does but it should be around $30 I'm also going to do a descale, how to descale both of these. Um, these are like coffee makers. They got a heating element inside and it needs a descale once in a while. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.